As BJP prepares for the PM Modi's rally in Kochi, the opposition wants to know whether there will be any strong statement on Pakistan against the backdrop of the country losing 18 soldiers in the Uri attack. NNI spoke to senior left leader Atul Anjan, who said the Prime Minister must convey to the world how Pakistan is supporting terrorism. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will visit Kozikode in Kerala to attend the BJP's three-day National Council meeting. Anjan said the voices within the country need to be united on the issue of Pakistan-sponsored terrorism. Pakistan promoting terrorism, in fact, in fact, promoting not only terrorism, it is waging a war against all good sayings in every religion. I think in this situation the Prime Minister has to speak and there should be no place in, of jingoism in our country. Yes, jingoism will not help, jingoism will not help, yes, throughout the world we have to tell what sort of act of the Pakistan's act in Uri, Pakistan's act in Pathan court also exposed our preparedness, our alertness, we should not continue with this. Yes, Pakistan is bent upon to uh, disturb our peace and tranquility. They want to create a communal situation in this country which we will not allow. Pakistan must understand and I think India has to speak unitedly. Around 1700 leaders including union ministers, chief ministers of party rule states, MPs, lawmakers, party's national leaders and top leaders of the party's various state units will attend the meeting. Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif is almost a, in double mind. I don't know against speaking, speaking against India what he gains. In the United Nations, all false he has spoken. Everybody knows today is not the era of 30 years back. What we say, what we do, it is viral throughout the world. The attacks in Pathan Court, in Gurdaspur, in Uri, and every day the terrorists which are being sent across the border to India and their revolution, the Bombay thing. All has spoken the diabolical designs of Pakistan because in different parts of the world wherever this terrorist activities are going on somewhere they are, they are also connected with Pakistan. Many of them are taking uh, training in Pakistan. So, I think the Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif is a desperate man. Why Pakistan is every day, every day is opposing, criticizing and breaking the agreement which has been done in 1971 with India-Pakistan. It, it has been breaking the Shimla agreement day in and out. So, why we should stick on other, other uh, agreements between Pakistan and India? That has to be seen and about this the decision has to be taken by the government of India by taking into confidence all political process, all political parties and all intellectuals, all society at large.